All right, so today I'm going to show how to take off the ball door solenoid for the machine. So I'm going to take off these back two 10 millimeter bolts with the 17 millimeter wrench. Alright, so now that I've gotten these loosened and loosened enough to where I can take them off, go ahead and hand, hand loosen these off the rest of the way. And then as I take this off, I'm going to want to push these bolts into the housing some more. That way it'll be make it it will make it much easier to slide out. Alright, so now that I've gotten that out, I'm gonna go ahead and take off these four uh, eight millimeter bolts uh be aware on the bottom side of this there are eight millimeter lock nuts but they go in the housing which you'll see later so just kind of keep your hand under there that way they don't fall out on you Alright, so now that I've gotten those loosened and now I'm going to go ahead and take this out and then I can grab my new solenoid and begin to put that back in. Alright, so I'm going to make sure I put my solenoid inside the plunger before I get to putting parts in. And then I should be good to go to start putting my hardware back in. So as I was mentioning earlier, the 8mm hex nuts fit inside of the housing there, so uh, just turn them to where they'll fit flushly in the housing for the ball door, uh, for the locking bolt assembly. And then once you get that fully seated in its slot, then you should be able to insert the, uh, the bolt from the opposite side into that and then just start threading. So now I've gotten all those threaded in, I'm now going to go ahead and tighten these back down. Alright, so now I'm clear to put this back in. I've got all my hardware tightened down. Again, I'm going to push in these bolts so that way it can go in there pretty smoothly. Sometimes you can kind of tuck it in there, but you push them in a little bit, it'll be fine. Now I'm going to want to rotate these bolts to fit back through the slots and to also fit inside the housing. So now I've got those on there. I'm going to go ahead and put my nut and washer on the top one. That way it won't fall back out on me as I try to mess with the bottom one here. I'm actually going to zoom out a little bit here so you can see all that I'm doing. All right, once I've got these threaded uh, enough to where it'll stop moving, then I should be good to go to start tightening this back down. All 
All right, so now that I've gotten these tightened down, um, I'm not going to do my adjustment for what I need to do to get this properly uh, working and looking how I need it to go. Uh, I'm going to also make sure I plug in my solenoid to the harness. But once I've got that, I'm going to do my adjustment to where I know it's going to work right and fine. And I should be good to go. Thanks for watching.